Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss some Arduino projects. Without further ado, let's start with number 12. Ben wanted a mouse that fits his hand perfectly and wouldn't quit on him after a year. So instead of scouring the internet for the ideal one, he decided to roll up his sleeves and get creative. Starting with a blob of clay, he sculpted a prototype, refining it until it felt just right. He turned it into a digital model. After a bit of fine tuning, he settled on this design. He made sure those buttons were tucked away neatly so they wouldn't get bumped accidentally. And the best part? He placed the scroll wheel right under his thumb, making scrolling a breeze. Number 11. Next, we have a powerful force feedback steering wheel designed specifically for sim racing. Alongside the wheel, David has included magnetic pedals and convenient push buttons for easy control. Using simple materials like 4mm plywood sheets and carefully crafted 3D printed parts, David assembled all the components with precision. From the microcontroller board to the power supply and gearbox, everything was connected flawlessly. The best part of the project is that it is constructed at a fraction of the cost compared to commercial options. Number 10. Michael has created a practical and eco-friendly solution for recycling filament and PET bottles. The system includes a cutter, hot end, reeler, and controller, all built from scratch. PET bottles are prepped by removing labels and residue, and a stepper motor smoothly pulls the filament through the cutter and hot end. What's neat is that the real design allows for easy handling and retrieval of the filament. Controlled by an Arduino Pro Mini, the system carefully regulates the temperature and motor speed. The hot end softens the PET strip, which is then wound onto the reel to make filament suitable for 3D printing. Number 9. Now, let's discuss a remote-controlled fixed-winged aircraft built from scratch, utilizing accessible materials and Arduino-based electronics. Max used a hot wire foam cutting tool and shaped a wing from styrofoam. He made sure that it had an airfoil shape so that the plane could gain lift. The servo motors control the aircraft's surface, while a brushless motor propels it. After this, he created a single receiver circuit. He made sure that the components he used didn't add up any extra weight, but still the total weight of the plane reached 183 grams. While testing, he faced some issues, but gradually, he became more adept at launching it and the aircraft began to soar successfully. Number 8. Next on the list, we have a robotic car that can be controlled using hand gestures. Yes, you heard it right. No buttons, no remote controls, just simple hand movements to direct the robot's actions. The complete robot is 3D printed and consists of three controlling modes. In its default mode, the robot responds to hand gestures for forward, backward, left and right movement. Pressing the push button activates drift mode, allowing sideways movement control. Another press switches to corner drive mode, where the robot adeptly navigates corners based on hand gestures. Altium is a PCB design software that is both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-end quality PCB designs. With the new Altium 365, you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. The Octopart gives you real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. Number 7. Would you believe that by utilizing just a handful of components, including an Arduino Nano, Relay, Transistor, and LDR module, you could enhance the security of your home? If not, this project will certainly change your perspective, as this door can only be unlocked using a flashlight from your smartphone. The smartphone app contains predefined passwords, and when activated, the flashlight emits flashes with precise timings. Meanwhile, the lock responds only when the light hits the LDR resistor for a specific duration, 
matching the timing set in the app. This ensures enhanced security, making manual manipulation almost impossible. Number 6. Lewis created a controller for Final Fantasy XIV to enhance his gameplay experience. He blended a Nerf turret and a sword and turned it into a dynamic homemade controller. The Arduino Nano monitors sword movements, triggering corresponding actions in the game. He installed a vibration sensor inside a cardboard box, which detects turret hits and registers them as inputs. He faced several challenges, such as experiencing physical fatigue from handling the controller and depleting ammo during battles. Nonetheless, it was an incredible experience to play with. Number 5. Next, we have a reaction wheel inverted pendulum. A true masterpiece in which the center of mass lies above the pivot point where the mass can freely rotate. It uses a DC motor, two slip rings from scrap copper tubing, a copper sheet, and old DC motor brushes to enable the pendulum arm to rotate endlessly. The motor accelerates to the point where the wheel attains a vertical position. It then switches to the stabilization state, where the wheel becomes immune to small disturbances, thus maintaining its upright position. Number 4. If you're looking for new ways to display messages, then this hologram orbiter might surprise you. It consists of two LED units that rotate at a very high speed to create a persistence of vision effect. Due to this, a visual image of the object appears in space, which can be viewed from any direction. All this is possible due to a motor and commutator unit, placed at the center, placed at the center that makes around 2,400 revolutions per minute. With this, you can display pixel animations, pictures, text, numbers, and much more. Number 3. Next, we have a Scara robot, which is designed to handle 200 grams of load. The electronics include an Arduino with a CNC shield, four-stepper motor drivers, and a 5-volt regulator for the servo. This robot uses open-loop control. Just like a 3D printer, the robot can keep track of how far each motor is moved, but it doesn't know where it starts from. So here, limit switches and a home sequencing are used to find this starting position. It could be challenging to make this project on your own if you're a beginner. Still, you can learn many things by following the build. Number 2. Instead of letting someone else take a picture of your group, you can include this DIY photo booth in your next party. All you need to do is stand in front of the screen and press this giant button. Upon pressing it, it starts a countdown, and once complete, it displays the captured photograph on the monitor. The outer frame for the booth is made using wooden panels, and to cover up the rough edges, some 3D printed parts are used. The lower section contains all the electronics and a 23-inch monitor, while the upper portion holds the DSLR camera. Number 1. At last, we have an adorable companion for makers everywhere. Crafted by Pito, this advanced open-source dog is a marvel of technology. With voice control capabilities, Biddle responds to your commands with charming, lifelike behaviors. It can also be controlled effortlessly using your smartphone or a remote. With the ability to program different behaviors and train new skills, Biddle evolves alongside you, adapting to your needs and desires. We hope you love these project ideas. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. Goodbye.